Hey there guys and guy -esses. welcome back to my channel The Tarative and thank you for stopping by. So as you'll be able to tell from the title of this video, this video is going to be another review video, but this time I'll be unboxing and reviewing a piece of jewellery for my stretched tongue piercing. So yes, my tongue is pierced and it is also stretched. Currently it is stretched to 8mm and my goal size is 10mm. I have no intention whatsoever of jumping straight from 8mm to 10mm, that would be a 2mm increase and physically I don't think my tongue would stretch that much in one go. So my intentions are to stretch from 8mm to 9mm and then go to 10mm so only jumping 1mm at a time. Now that all sounds well and good and it sounds like okay that makes sense that's an understandable theory to do but in reality, when it comes to stretching to a weird in-between size like 9mm is, it can be very hard, if not near impossible, to find suitable jewellery to use to stretch with. My ideal piece of jewellery to stretch with are metal internally threaded barbells. I find they're the best thing for me to use. I like the appearance, they feel comfortable, they can be autoclaved, therefore sterilised before stretching with, and internally threaded are really nice and easy because then the transition from taper to jewellery when you're putting it through the tongue piercing is nice and smooth. Now, if you did watch my 7mm tongue stretching video, you will see that that wasn't very smooth at all. Unfortunately, at 7mm, like with 9mm, I couldn't find any internally threaded metal barbells, and therefore, the only thing that I could find that was suitable to use at that time was externally threaded metal barbell. So I thought, well, I do want to stretch to 7mm and not jump from 6 to 8, and therefore I just had to put up with externally threaded jewellery. But if you watch near the end of the video, when I am transitioning from taper to jewellery, you'll notice that that did not go smoothly at all. And the reason for it not going so smoothly is because it's externally threaded jewellery, and I do not recommend whatsoever using externally threaded jewellery to stretch with. So the dilemma is, well, I'm now at 8mm and I want to go to 9mm. I've looked online for internally threaded metal barbells and no they just don't exist in 9mm thickness unfortunately and even the same for externally threaded I couldn't find any externally threaded metal barbells even if I could I don't really think I would want to buy externally threaded just because of how the 7mm stretch went I just don't think it's an ideal piece of jewellery to use to stretch with luckily after I'd stretched 8mm and started to look for 9mm jewellery I discovered Stonewall for Dormants who is a UK based company that offer custom made jewellery for stretch piercings including stretch tongue piercings they do in fact offer two styles of jewellery for tongue piercings on their website. The first one being a librette style jewellery which is basically a post with a flat back and then you have to use an o-ring to hold it into place and they also offer internally threaded barbell jewellery. Now the only differences between this style of jewellery and the jewellery that I've been using is the fact that actually this is made out of Delrin so it's not a metal but like metals or the metals that I use for stretching with they can be autoclaved and therefore that means they can be sterilized prior to using it in a piercing which is what you want if you're using jewelry to stretch with one last thing I'd like to quickly mention before starting to open the package is on their website they do not recommend using Delrin for initial piercings or initial stretches the reason being the Delrin that they use has been dyed with a carbon based dye and even though it's rare it can cause irritation to fresh piercings or fresh stretches however for me I personally believe will be absolutely fine and I believe for most people it will be fine. I have black tattoos which with the black ink they use it is a carbon based ink and therefore that's in my skin under a few layers and I haven't had any reactions whatsoever to that so I believe in a fresh piercing or a fresh stretch piercing for myself Delrin should be absolutely fine to use. So I'm just going to show you the package. This is the package that it came in. It's in a nice little bubble wrapped envelope and it feels like they've put it in a box inside, but let's get straight into opening it and finding out. Okay, I'm just gonna get rid of the envelope. I'm just going to have a quick look through this statement. I'm hoping it doesn't have anything in my dress on. It does, so I'm not going to show you guys. So, it comes with a little statement just saying what you bought, how much it cost, and how much you paid for packaging or for shipping. So, I ordered a 9mm thickness barbell with a wearable length of 16mm, which cost me £27.50, and I paid £3.06 for Royal Mail First Class signed for delivery okay so let's get rid of that <laughs> so it comes in this nice little box and then they also have a few of these cards showcasing some of the other jewelry that he has made there we go 
So I think that's a really cute feature. I think I think that's really sweet. It felt like there was a box inside and I was correct, but I think that's a really nice addition. So by the looks of it, it has been sellotaped together. So we'll just try and peel that sellotape off. Easier said than done. Perfect. So in the in the package after opening it straight, it's protected with this kind of little meshy meshy thing. And then sorry I should have showed you before starting to take out. There lies the barbell. I'm just going to take that out, and as you can see, it's padded again with a little bit more of this fluffy stuff. So this is what the barbell looks like up close. It's a little bit hard to see with my fingers like that, but if I put it to the side, you can see that actually there is a slight little dome to the edge. So I think that would be way more comfortable than if it were completely flat. As I unscrew this, it's a little bit hard for you guys to see, but I've noticed that the thread on this is really long, which is perfect because sometimes in the past, I've had a problem that the barbell or the ball on the barbell has started to unscrew itself slightly. Luckily, I've always noticed before it's actually come off completely, but I don't think you'd have a problem with this jewelry because there is such a long thread on it. I don't think you'd have a problem with it coming off entirely. Definitely, if it did start unscrewing itself whilst it was in your tongue piercing, you would definitely notice it before it became a problem. So that's that's really good. I think that's definitely an improvement to the type of barbells I've been using up until this point. And again, it screws on really nicely, it screws off really nicely, and it feels really nice and smooth, which is exactly what you want. You definitely don't want anything with kinks in or with bumpiness to it, because that will irritate a freshly stretched piercing. So my initial reactions to the piece of jewellery is that it's really nice and smooth, it feels really nice, there's no kinks or bumps or anything like that, it feels like a quality piece of jewellery, I love the fact that it has such a long thread on it, which is such an improvement to the type of jewellery that I've been wearing up until now, also because it isn't a metal, I don't have this problem, my tongue piercing, or the jewellery that I wear on my tongue piercing does not clash against my teeth, but for people who do find that that is the case, I think this would be a lot better, because it is nice and smooth, it's nice and soft, definitely it wouldn't damage your teeth as much as a metal barbell would do. So, so far I'd give it a 10 out of 10. I am just going to measure it because it is custom made. I have no idea as to whether they make it accurately. Now I will just use another barbell as well for comparison because to be honest, nothing is going to be exactly down to 0 0.00 millimeter accurate. Usually there's a little bit of leeway because it is machines and they're not going to be able to necessarily do it exactly. This person does hand make it though. So we shall see what the difference is between a handmade piece of jewellery and just like a massive mass produced piece of jewellery. So I'm going to measure this first. I've just got some calipers. So, oh, I turned it off. <laughs> I didn't mean to turn it off. Okay, so I've just set the calipers to zero. Now, as I open it, we'll see where it lies. So it does say it is... 9.13 millimeter thickness which to be honest i don't think that's too far out at all just for comparison i have a five millimeter barbell here so this barbell was not custom made it's just a standard bit of jewelry so you can see that that is 4.91 so that's about 0.9 millimeter sorry 0 0.09 millimeter out this one's about 0.12 or 13 millimeter out which doesn't really make too much of a difference. So now I'm just going to measure the length of the barbell. I think that's about the length. So that reckons it is 15.47, which to be honest is actually better, I think, that it is a little bit shorter 16 than a little bit above 16. So I think it does mention on their website that when you order a particular length, that it might be slightly shorter just because of the way that the ends will sit over the barbell. And that is the same, not just for this custom made jewelry, but that's the same if you normally buy internally threaded metal barbells, you will find that the stem's going to be a little bit shorter than you ordered because a point something of a millimeter of the ball will cap on top of it. So that's to be expected. So that's absolutely fine. And to be honest, 
because I did order a slightly longer length and with this type of barbell that I've ordered rather than the one that I'm wearing I'd rather it come up a little bit shorter because I'm not sure if 16 millimeters will be too long up until six millimeters of stretching I did wear barbells with a 16 millimeter length and there was ample of room on there when I went to seven millimeters and then stretched to eight millimeters I used 14 millimeter length jewelry which has been perfect you will see I'm just going to show you and explain why I ordered 16 millimeter this time around rather than 14 as I get closer I'm just going to stick my tongue out at you guys You'll see after me just sticking my tongue out at you guys that the barbell actually sits quite nicely. The balls sit pretty flush to it. But when I relax my tongue and push the barbell upwards, you'll see there's still plenty of room. Now, the reason why this is not uncomfortable when it does sit a little bit flush is because with the balls, they're more rounded and therefore they do sink into the piercing slightly. But because they're rounded, it's comfortable and it's absolutely fine. So 14 millimeter length for metal and turning threaded jewelry with the rounded edges on are perfect. Now, because this barbell is flatter, I was worried that because these bits aren't domed, that if I ordered 14 millimeter jewelry and it sat like it did my current jewelry does, that it would cut into the sides and become uncomfortable. So that's why I ordered two millimeters larger. We shall see if that was the right decision or not. But because I am currently at eight millimeters and this is nine millimeter jewelry, I do in fact have to stretch it before <laughs> I can wear it. Therefore, I won't be doing it just this second. I am going to go get that autoclaved. And then once I've stretched my tongue piercing, which I will be filming as well, I will come back in this clip. So it'll only be about a second jump and then explain what what it's like actually putting it in and then give my fair review once I've actually worn it in my tongue piercing so I'll see you guys in just a second here I am a second later well in reality I'm now filming this clip about three or four months after filming the first part of the video so after filming that part of the video I did stretch my tongue to nine millimeters and I will be posting that nine millimeter tongue stretching video in the next few weeks so if you guys are interested and want to check that out I will be leaving a link in the description box below so after stretching my tongue to nine millimeters as I said I would I then put the jewellery, the 9mm Delrin barbell, straight in afterwards. I did wear the jewellery for a good two months and most of you probably will have seen that a crazy swelling incident occurred with my tongue and I just want to clarify that had nothing to do with this piece of jewellery but because of that incident I did have to remove the piece of jewellery and then the tongue piercing did shrink up quite considerably and it's only been in the last week where it's now back up to 9mm that I've been wearing this jewellery again since then. So since I have worn this jewellery for two months and now I am wearing it back again in the last week week or so I think I can give it a much fairer review and much better comparison to other pieces of jewellery now that I've worn it for quite a decent amount of time compared to just my first impressions. So there are still things I really really like about this piece of jewellery but there are a couple of things where I think it could be improved upon. I'm about to mention those in a minute but I just want to say firstly I'll be talking about the pros to this piece of jewellery and then I'll be going and listing through the cons. So let's start off with the good things about this piece of jewellery. The main thing and the first thing that I want to mention is that I think it's been finished to a really really high standard as with my first impression I still think that it's really smooth the finish to it is perfect I cannot fault it whatsoever it is definitely on par with the metal counterparts and I don't think anything could be faulted as to with the finish of this jewelry the second thing that I think is really nice about this jewellery and is definitely a plus point for the piece of jewellery is when you remove the disc from the top part of the post you will find that the end of the post is really nice and rounded, really nice and smooth. Now this might seem a little bit irrelevant but I found with some of the, or most of the barbells actually that I've used up until this point, the metal ones, when you take the ball off the post they're quite squared. Even though they're slightly rounded they're still quite sharp and angled. So when you put them in, even though I've never had a problem with it, some people might find that a little bit uncomfortable putting the less rounded edged jewellery in there whereas you'll find because these have really nice smooth rounded edges there's not sharp angle at all it goes in really nice smoothly and comfortably so I think that's definitely a plus point for this piece of jewellery. The third thing that I'm going to mention is the thing that I actually really really like and I wish all other jewellery barbells had this is where you've got the thread of the disc that screws into the barbell the thread itself is really really long and I did mention it earlier on the video saying that I thought it was really good and 
and I still really do think it's good. With some of the barbells in the past, I found that the balls can unscrew themselves a little bit, but because they've got a very short screw, it could easily come off and you could swallow it. Now, I haven't had that problem. I've always noticed when it felt a little bit loose in my mouth and therefore I've still managed to screw it on nice and tightly and never had a problem with it coming off completely. However, for those of you worried about it, I would say that this piece of jewellery completely counteracts that. Because it's got such a long thread, even if it did unscrew quite a bit, it would have to unscrew a lot before it came off and you would definitely notice when it started unscrewing, you'd have plenty of time to tighten it and therefore I don't think you would ever have any problems or any worries with the top unscrewing itself completely and you accidentally swallowing the jewellery. So I think that's probably my most favourite part of this jewellery. I think that's amazing and I think that was really, really well thought out. Another plus to this piece of jewellery is the fact that it's made from Delrin rather than metal. Now I personally really really like the metal jewellery, I like that it's quite heavy, I like the appearance, but I know a lot of people are put off with heavy jewellery, especially when they're going bigger and bigger, it gets heavier and heavier, and the fact that it, metal is heavy and it is tough, and therefore if you knock it against your teeth you could potentially chip or crack it. Whereas because this is Delrin, it's very very lightweight in comparison, and therefore even if it were to knock against your teeth, it would not chip them, it would not crack them, so I think that is fantastic. Also, a lot of people find that sometimes with their tongue piercings, they cause gum erosion. Now, the bottom bits or the top bits might rub against their gums, and with the metal jewellery, because it is heavier and because it is a little bit thicker and tougher, if metal jewellery rubs against your gums, it's going to exacerbate gum erosion way more than if you use a light piece of jewellery or a lightweight piece of jewellery such as Delrin. So I think even if the Delrin jewellery were to rub against the gums, I don't think it would cause gum erosion, or at least I don't think it would cause it as much as the metal counterpart do. And this is the last but one thing I want to mention about the jewellery and that's the flat discs. The flat discs are really good because they don't take up anywhere near as much room as the balls do and therefore there is a lot more room in your mouth, it doesn't take up as much space and I think that are really good because of that. And the last thing I want to mention about the barbell, and it's not necessary to do with the barbell itself, but it's to do with the person who makes the barbells, because this is a custom piece of jewellery, a custom made piece of jewellery, the main benefit of this, I think, is the fact that you can get the weird in between sizes, such as nine millimetres, which is fantastic, and so you can order to any thickness or any length that you want, and I think that is one of the main selling points of this piece of jewellery, and so it's definitely fantastic for people who can't find good alternatives for seven millimetres or nine millimetres, which are the weird or awkward in between sizes which a lot of places don't even make jewellery for so I think that's one of the main selling points if not the main selling point of this piece of jewellery the fact that it is custom made to how you want it. Now I'm just going to mention the things that I don't like about this barbell and there's only two things and I definitely think these things could be approved upon both of which are to do with the flat discs. So even though I said the flat discs are great because they don't take up as much room as the balls do there are some cons to the flat discs and it lies more so with the fact of how the flat discs are made. So where you've got the side on view and I will insert a picture so you guys can kind of get an idea of what I mean you'll be able to see that the top bit of the flat disc is slightly domed which is really good, it's nice and comfortable it's not a problem at all, but the edges of the flat disc are quite sharp and angle, so even though they're nice and smooth, the angle themselves, they're not as round as, as they could be, and therefore, because I have quite a thick tongue, I do find that when I'm talking or when I'm eating, the back bit of the flat disc on top, the bottom bit's absolutely fine, but the top one can dig in a little bit and can imprint on my tongue. Now, if it was a lot more rounded, like the balls were, that would not be a problem at all, it wouldn't cause any discomfort, and it would just sink in nicely and be comfortable, but because it is quite a sharp angle I do find that it does dig in a little bit and can cause discomfort. Now it doesn't cause swelling or anything like that but I just think if it were improved upon it would make this jewellery really really nice. Also as well which you can't really see and I don't know if you could see too much before but I'll try and get a picture or explain what I mean but when you look underneath the flat disc you will see that it's not actually flat it is slightly concave so because the top bit's domed the underneath bit is domed as well which is not too much of a problem you would think however when you were eating and I mainly just find it is when I'm eating, food gets trapped underneath it. Because it is domed and it's capped like that, food gets stuck underneath, it doesn't come loose by itself and therefore if the jewellery is moving up and down when I'm eating with the food caught there, it can cause a little bit of discomfort or a little bit of irritation. So I do find every now and again when I am eating certain foods, I have to make sure I have a glass of water next to me so I can swish it around so it's comfortable again and so it dislodges the food underneath. But I think if it was made to either a rounded bit underneath or a flat bit underneath, I think that would solve the issue. So 
if it weren't for those two things, I would give this a 10 out of 10. Because of those two things, I think I'll probably give it an 8.5 or a 9 out of 10. I would still recommend this because it is such a fantastic piece of jewellery. It's finished to such a high quality of standard. There's so many good things about this piece of jewellery. The main thing being that it is custom made. You can determine what length you need what thickness you need, which is fantastic, especially if you are an awkward in between size when stretching such as seven millimeters or nine millimeters. So I definitely would recommend this. Now, I just want to mention, this is not a sponsored video whatsoever. I did buy this piece of jewelry with my own money and I just want to do a review video because it offers another solution to people out there who have stretched tongue piercings and are worried about heavy jewelry or just want something a little bit different and a little bit more comfortable to wear in the tongue piercing. So I still think this is a fantastic piece of jewelry. I do hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, then let me know by leaving this video a thumbs up. If I wasn't clear on anything or if you have any questions, then please ask away in the comments below. I'll be sure to answer each and every one. And if you aren't already and would like to be, then remember to hit that subscribe button down below and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye for now.